Hiya, welcome to another video. Uh, we're still outside uh, Cusworth Hall. We brought the Mini 2 with us as well as the Femi because uh, we want to basically do a comparison between the two. Um, basically, what's the video Hello, quality? Has been updated. Please check it on the map. She always does that. We just want to check the, uh, the quality basically between the, the Mini 2. Um, we actually had an accident off camera with the Mini 2. We took it out a while back and um, we, we, we broke one of the blades. So this is the first time that I've actually changed blades on one of these drones. And we'll see how well this flies now that I basically flew it into a tree. Um, I was kind of backing back up over and managed to cut a bit. It didn't, it still flew, you know, amazingly. Like even after the, uh, so this, this is actually quite handy for you for advice actually. Part of the blade came away on two different rotors and it's still basically yeah two props um you know sets of props died but it still flew like took off no problem flew about didn't even look like anything had changed to me <laughs> so you know i hadn't noticed until i got it home that basically these blades are gone so um but anyway yeah we're going to basically start the recording on the drone um take it up i think basically start the uh do take off Okay, and then I want to go, go forward. Do you need it a bit higher or a bit lower or drop the camera down? <laughs> Do you need it higher, Rach? It's all right, is it? Right, drop the camera down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we've just been playing with the Femi um, and basically, I don't know, there's something about the Mini 2 that, you know, it just feels really nice. You, you sort of almost could just throw it up in the air and it just feels really good. For me, it's the ultimate beginner drone. Hello, I'm in the shot. Yeah, I, I, I really like it. I, I, I think, I think basically I would, I would choose a, I would choose a Mini 2 over a Femi. Although the Femi is heavier, better in wind, probably slightly better signal uh, to the controller. Um, I think the new updated controller is amazing. If you've got a large phone, leave it there for a second if you've got a large phone oh I can feel the uh, the downdraft or whatever you call it but basically if you've got a phone that's big like this one it doesn't fit so well in the previous mini controllers it did fit I'm not saying it doesn't fit but if you've got something like the iPhone 12 Max or even bigger maybe even a small tablet like an iPad mini this is the controller that you really want and that comes with the mini too so if you're debating whether to get um, the Mini 1 or the Mini 2, I think the Mini 2 is a good buy uh, for that alone. Uh, but basically, yeah, if we take, basically what we're going to try and do is we'll fly this one around um, and then we will show you footage uh, basically from the Femi and the uh, Mavic Air. Sep you know, we'll I'll try and sort of like stick them side by side. So I just want to go higher than the tree level here. But yeah, just already it just feels a more manoeuvrable drone. It feels very just like, I don't know, it just feels very, I don't know, like it's like getting into like a much more manoeuvrable car. You know, this kind of just feels like, yeah, I like this drone. It can fly, it can, oh, it's just nice and it's, it's small, it's light, it's easy to kind of bring out. Um, you know, I was really excited to get the Mavic Air 2 and when I got it, I thought, this is quite chunky, this is quite heavy, it's quite hard to, you know, this is more serious. You feel like you're on a, right, now I'm a professional drone flyer, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to do this. With this, you feel like you're having fun, I think. I think that's the, that's the only way I can describe it. The feeling between the two, between Femi or uh, Mini, is that the, 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 I don't know, it just feels a little bit more fun to me. You know, a little bit more like, wow, you know, cool features. So like you know basically we did an orbit previously on a um you know like it, it just, it's cool it's a cool feature so what i'm going to try and do is take it up to a similar sort of height as what we did with the femi around about 50 meters um we're going to back away a bit um and then we're going to circle this and what i want to try and do is show you the difference between the footage from the femi and the footage from the mavic Mini 2. Now the Mini 2 has got the same sensor as the Mini 1 but can do 4K. 
Um, so basically they're exactly sort of the components are the same, so the centers are the same. Um, I'm guessing that maybe they've upgraded the processor, done something else inside, better battery. The battery's a LiPo battery in it now rather than a lithium ion battery. So it's got more grunt in it, it can go a bit faster than the, uh, the previous Air, um, Mini because of that. Uh, it, it's got apparently you can use the Mini 1 batteries in a Mini 2, but you won't get that grunt. Um, but the, but you can't use the Mini 2 batteries in the Mini 1 because it, it, they're not compatible. So basically, you know, they use it, you know, they're, 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 they're a different shape, so they won't fit. But I think you can use the Mini 2, uh, you can use the Mini uh, 1 battery in the Mini 2, um, but I don't think you'll get that speed, that grunt. This is what's really good about the new Mini 1, it, uh, Mini 2, sorry. It flies fast, it just feels a little bit more of a, just a bit sportier bit of a sportier upgrade. It's like a Ferrari compared to a Fiat Coupe. No, it's probably be a bit of a smaller gap than that, but you know. But basically, we're going to do an orbit of this because I want to compare the footage uh, that we saw on the Femi. So my editing skills, let's hope they're good. Um, I'm talking about this before I've done it. Uh, hopefully it'll be fine. I think it will. Uh, but basically, we want to do like kind of a split screen or something to show you what the difference is in quality between the two drones. Um, so you can make a decision. Personally, I think if I was getting my first drone, I'd go for a Mini uh, 2. I think I would. Um, but let's, let's, let's compare the footage and see how we get on. Uh, but yeah, the other thing you have to do on this is you have to stop recording. So you do a stop recording, um, which I don't, th on the Femi you don't. You, you can just go in and out of smart features. It's all part of the same video, so um, that's a bit of a pain. But right, so what we want to do is we want to go into the quick shot features and we want to do a circle. There are also some other cool features like boomerang, um, which are similar. They kind of go out, spin back round. They do cool things. Um, but let's have a look, right? Tap or draw a box. I'm going to draw a box around it. Um, and then basically I'm going to start. Three, two, actually, actually, no, cancel that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get it go the other way because the Femi went the other way. So. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. So let's go around this and see what happens. Um, it's a wit, you know, the, the Mavic drones are a bit strange actually because you can hear it now spinning around. Let's hope it's above those trees. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but they're a bit, the quick shots are weird compared to the Femi's. The Femi's features feel like you're in the normal video and you can say go around. They feel more manual. The quick shot features feel more like it's creating a clip for you. So you tell it what to do, um, you kind of set some instructions and it then just goes off and does it and processes that clip for you. And that clip may be longer than the period of, it may be shorter, sorry, than the period of time that's really elapsed. So there's a bit of a weirdness in the DJI quick shots um, that, that, that is different from the Femi. The Femi ones, they don't, it doesn't really feel like a smart feature. It kind of just feels like a, a setting up a control and getting it to do that control. Whereas the, this one, it is, it is going round it, but it's not backing away from the island here. I, I thought it might kind of back away a bit more from it, but I don't know. But it, it, it's kind of circling it. Um, whereas the Femi, I think you, you, you fly over, you set the center point, you say, right, I want to set the center point here. I'm not sure we really set the center point exactly to the island, um, which we probably haven't with this either. But the, but it kind of like, then you came out, set the radius. It was a very manual process, but it kind of did the orbit a bit better. I mean, we'll see the footage, so I may be wrong. It may be this is better, but um, we'll see. We'll put the footage sort of side by side and see if we can see um, the differences between between them. Um, I, they may not be at the same speed, <laughs> they may not, it may not work, but we'll, we'll give it a go. <laughs> so yeah, basically it's nearly finished. Um, with the DJI drones, you do get like a kind of progress meter. So on the right hand side of the screen, it will say like, you know, the percentage of what's done, which is quite cool. Whereas the Femi would just go round and round for as long as the battery held out then presumably it would just return home when it when it got to low battery. So it's it's now done that. Um, I don't we haven't got any smart tracking features on the Mini 2. So that that's the downside. We, we've, although really with the Femi, 
do you get any actual smart features it, it kind of worked as a bit of fun but it, it doesn't really do what you want it to do it's not it's not like those videos where you see um, you know the Mavic Air chasing the, the Land Rover down the desert you know that you're not going to get that I don't think with the Femi um, and you certainly won't get it with the Mini 2 um, because it doesn't have any of those features so let's try out a different feature um, go get go uh, let's try um, let's try boomerang let's see what happens I think it was the first time we've ever tried boomerang so here we go Three, two, two one. one right you get your sat nav voice of course on the on the um, on the DJI drones I don't think the Femi has that I've never heard any sound so maybe I just have a setting turned off I don't know so yeah it's doing whatever is a boomerang now so it'll be very interesting to see uh, now we didn't have an equivalent feature I don't think on the uh, on the Femi maybe there was but we were mainly interested in the uh, the film quality between the two so this video is largely about just you know showing you the two different film qualities side by side what do you think's better you know what is what is basically better so we're going to fly up to the house in a minute you know Cusworth Hall up there and we did a similar shot with that in the in the Femi video we'll, we'll put them side by side and we'll try and show you um, which looked better so yeah it's kind of doing this boomerang thing now it definitely does know where it's centering on it you selected that the, the, it kind of has worked out the perspective and everything and it does know what it's what it's circling so that's a real plus again if you're just a beginner getting in and having fun um, I think the Femi is quite a manual drone so it, it's a bit more manual um, it does have smart features but uh, that I wouldn't go above the drony and the circle and that kind of stuff this feels much more sort of geared up for like Instagram and social media type videos you know it, it's kind of cool funky videos that it does for you and you don't kind of need the, the piloting skills to be able to achieve those sort of videos so um, yeah I think that's a that's a definite plus for the for the Mini 2 really over the Femi so okay so what we're going to do is we're going to get the we're going to come out oh hang on again done it wrong um you know come out we're going to go back into video, start filming again, um, we'll get it to return home and that's another thing I don't really like about the uh, about the Mini 2 or the Mini 1 or any DJI drone is it puts up an option to land and return to home. Now I just never want to be accidentally landing over there so I really don't want that land button there, I want a separate land button really, I want a separate, you know I want it really nicely separated basically and, and and the annoying beep which maybe there's a way of turning it off um, we haven't I tell you what I've noticed I've got sunglasses on I had sunglasses on in the previous video as well and I can see the screen better on this now it's the same phone so for me I can see what's going on in this video better maybe that maybe the time of day has changed maybe the sun's moved slightly um, but I, I kind of feel like I can see more clearly what's going on with the drone uh, right yeah it's actually nowhere near its landing pad so um, we'll have to be a bit careful here but anyway basically I'll let it come back down I'm not gonna let it land because I want to fly off towards the house and I want to have a look because we did some shots of that as well and I want to put side by side again the Femi video so you can see so uh, you know what the difference in filming quality was um, so I'm going to cancel the landing I'm going to bring it down manually it's a fast little drone I mean it, it, it comes down really really quickly it hasn't got sensors again like the Femi it hasn't got obstacle sensors um, but you know it does have sort of bottom sensors you know so you can kind of you can do that and it will move around it will, it will it does have sensors some people have even disabled their sensors so they can go really low to the ground you know they kind of stick something over it or something I don't know if that's a good idea um, but what I will say is that this drone I just feel like it's so maneuverable it's so fast it's so I don't know it just feels like a really I mean it's not a toy but it feels as much fun as a toy 
but a toy that actually works and does what it's meant to do. Um, whereas all the toy drones I kind of tried before, I, I just, I didn't like them. I was like, oh, I've just wasted, you know, the money on that, you know. And some of these drones are like $100 or something. They're just not worth buying. You know, this is the kind of thing that's worth buying. There's a lot of reviewers as well on YouTube who will kind of review these sort of cheaper drones. They'll find the best in them. Um, but you need something that's controllable um, and, 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 and you need the three axis gimbal on the camera. That's very important. And there's not many drones that kind of come with three axis gimbals that are sort of sub, you know, kind of $300, $400. So, you know, you, you kind of got to spend the money. But um, yeah, I really like, so I'm going to drop the, drop the camera down a bit. It's really responsive as well. The controls are really responsive, I'd say. I think when you, when you change the camera, it's much faster um, than the Femi. So hang on, I'll pick the camera a bit up again. So I want to go up over these big trees. I don't know. I feel like I'm in much more control of it than the Femi. Even though I'm, I'm sure that's just an illusion. Um, so I think when we, we had the Femi, we were, we were slightly over this way. I know we were at 50 meters. We were about 51 meters, right? So we were like over that direction, I remember. And we kind of went towards the house at this direction. So let's see if we're getting a better quality image so we go up to the house um you know and we'll see we'll see if this this footage side by side with the femi footage looks good now i don't want to keep taking my eyes off the screen too much because we're, we're motoring towards that house and like i said it may it may damage a window or two if we if we go too fast in towards that house so um we, we're not we're not we're not doing deliberately sort of crazy but look yeah you know to me the picture looks better it looks better exposed i would say that i can clearly make out that house if it, it looked a bit more whited out you know kind of a white feeling to the house when the femi was filming uh, but yeah I, I i really i really think like comparing this footage here um i'm probably going to go right round and do another another view on the house again because i think when i was doing the femi video i kind of did it quite seamlessly so um yeah yeah we're getting a little bit of break up in the signal there um i get i think the femi probably has better signal uh but let's go around let's try now and do the same thing again so we're going to basically come out this way i want to put my sticks towards the drone because obviously you you know which is quite difficult to see at this angle. Uh, but yeah, basically I want to do the same thing I did again, um, go towards the house again and see if that's a better shot um, than what we got on the Femi because I think you really, yeah, I think there's a, to me, oh, such a maneuverable, fun drone, isn't it? You know, it's so great, really love. I just have so much fun with this drone. Right, okay, so I'm going to turn, oh hang on, we're not quite where we were, so sort of move across, I don't know, you feel like you know where you are, you feel like you're having a really good fly around and, and I really like it for that. Um, now the sun has moved, so maybe this is not the most fair comparison, but you know, we, we'll, we'll try and fly towards the house again and then sweep round back towards the pond. And we'll just see if we're getting a better view of everything. And for me, my eye looking at this screen, I think that the Mini 2 is getting better 4K footage than the than the Femi did. Just just from my eye looking at this, looking at this footage. Uh, the Femi was probably sweeping round better. This is not in cinematic mode. Um, so maybe if I switch into cine mode, which you get, it goes slow speed though. So, you know, you kind of, yeah, it, it won't turn as fast. It won't move as fast. It won't, it won't go as fast as before. So, yeah, it, it sweeps a lot better, I'd say. So let's see if we can sweep back towards the house. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think definitely the, you know, I would say that the picture quality on the Mini 2, just looking at the screen, just by eye, 
you know i haven't seen the actual video footage yet i won't see that until we get back um and basically it's hang on so yeah so basically um yeah i've just been informed that our camera has uh, <laughs> has, has died actually so um what i might do is i will hand <laughs> rachel another camera um right if you just put that underneath or something um yeah so basically i'm going to hand rachel another camera <laughs> and she's going to film the remainder of the video another camera this is unplanned um you know we're so well planned out with these uh videos but yeah basically i'm going to turn back on the recording sorry here because i shouldn't have probably shouldn't have turned the recording off there um but basically yes so yeah our camera's just died um but we will we will get another camera. Have we got another camera? Is it all working? I've got this one, yeah. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. So we're filming again. It's fine. We're back on. But yeah, basically, uh, yeah, there's the house. Um, you know, it looks nice. If you want to go and see a nice old house, then you can't go far wrong. That looks like a good nice old house if you're into that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, basically, we will compare the footage with the, with the Femi footage. And um, we'll see if we get some, uh, you know, if we get some, you know, actually the sun is now kind of coming around and it's really making it difficult to actually see what's going on. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to click the return to home button. What you do is you hold down the button and it should return home itself. Um, that's a great thing about as well, non-toy drones. It's these sort of drones. They know where they are. They know what they're doing. They've, they've got a compass you know, GPS, well, they haven't got a compass. They've got a GPS signal in them. They know where they are. They know where roughly they took off from. They know where they know where they are. So basically it will return home to the same spot where it took off roughly. Um, and, you know, that's, that's another big benefit of having a sort of slightly more expensive drone, but you're basically, it's more expensive, but you're just wasting money if you buy cheaper drones, really. You, you, don't, you might have a bit of fun, you'll crash it, and, you know, you'll kind of, I don't know. It, 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 won't, it won't be as good as this drone. So, for me, the Mini 1 is probably the bottom. That is the bottom of drones. I would say that's where you start. Um, it, unless you want a drone. I mean, maybe there are some cheaper drones that are, you know maybe have terrible video quality they might fly okay they've probably got two axis gimbals instead of three that's quite important to have three axis gimbal so yeah basically it's returning home now um and uh we should uh basically land it hang on it's coming down i think it's over the top of rach <laughs> we'll drop the camera down oh no i always go the wrong way on the camera Drop the camera down, so we know where it's coming down to. It's coming down. See, I, I've heard that some drones, you can actually use the main camera. Hang on, I'm gonna cancel that. Cancel that landing. Right, canceled it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do that. We don't want it to land on everyone. There we go. And I'm just going to move it back over the pad itself. Landing. Perfect. Right, so you've got to stop the recording. Do you know what was strange? I'm pretty sure that the Femi as well now seems to not turn off the recording automatically. It's kind of, I think the latest update might have not turned off the recording automatically, whereas this one does. So yeah, basically it's a small light drone it's very maneuverable um, you can see it's very easy to get on the pad because it's quite small so it's very easy to land yourself you don't need the precision landing so much um, i really feel like for me i would just if i was a beginner I, that's the first that's what i would go for i just don't know why people go for like say the like a bigger drone you know like a, a femi x8 is cool but i think get this then get a Femi X8. If you're going to be a hobbyist drone flyer, you're probably going to buy more than one drone anyway. So, um, but we will show you the footage between this one and the Femi X8. And you tell us, you, you know, you tell us what you think the difference in quality is. I, I'm betting that the Mini 2 will be better. It, it's got the, 
it's got the bigger sensor in it. So the Femi is a bigger drone, but this has the bigger sensor. This is a one over 2.3 inch sensor, which is really confusing, but apparently that's round about eight millimeters diagonal. Um, and the Femi has got a one over 2.6 inch sensor. And the bigger the sensor, I think the better the picture quality, the more light it lets in. So you're gonna kind of get better filming quality generally. I don't think it's as simple as that, but I think generally the bigger the sensor. So if you had a drone with a full frame camera sensor on there, it's gonna be pretty good. You, if I was pointing it at Rach now, the background would be bokered out. She would basically be like, you know, you know, star of the show on it. So um, basically, I think with this is a much smaller sensor. It's more akin to a smartphone sensor. Critically low battery, so I better turn it off. Uh, put that back on the... Has it gone off? Yeah, I think it's turning itself off, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, basically you're... You know, the bigger the sensor, the better the film quality. Um, um, but these are like more akin to smartphone sensors, same like the Femi. They're good picture quality, don't get me wrong. Um, but the, the Mavic Air has got a half inch sensor. So I, 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 I'm not sure whether this is half again, but essentially this, this, is, this has got a, a bigger sensor than the Femi has got. And that's a 4K30 drone as well. Um, and the Mini 1 has got the same size sensor, but they only had 2.7K. Um, 4K30 is perfectly fine as well for this. Unless you're doing full, uh, uh, unless you're doing slow mo, you don't really need a 4K60 um, uh, setting. That that's that's available on the Mavic Air 2, but it's not necessary unless you're doing slow motion. So yeah, basically, um, we'll we'll look at the, the, the difference in quality between the Femi uh, and the uh, and the Mini 2 picture quality and you tell me what you think in the comments below what you think which one's better which one's worse it might be quite subjective but i'm 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 sort of confident that the mini 2 will look better um so we'll give it a go we'll have a look we'll see how it comes out but you know thanks very much for watching um i hope you found this advice useful um i hope i haven't waffled on too much um but uh, but i try to give like as much information as i can um, in each video um, but if you if you really like this kind of video then please consider clicking on the uh, subscribe button uh, please consider clicking the like button I mean the like button is it's really helpful um, it, it helps you know get the videos more popular more people get to see them uh, so thanks very much for doing that and um, please share to your friends please share to anyone you can um, and thanks very much for watching uh, we'll see you again in the next video thank you very much